Skra! It's so good to see you. What are you doing here? Well, being man's best friend and all, I thought I'd be the perfect guy to tell all about how important it is to have a group of best friends. Since we're talking about Jesus and his 12 disciples today? Mm-hmm, yeah. Having a pack of your best buds around you makes everything better. Jesus knew how important it is to choose your friends carefully. But wait, didn't Jesus pick and choose his disciples in a surprising way? Mm-hmm. You'd think that Jesus would pick a lot of famous, royal, or super rich friends. He could pick anyone to be his friend. But he didn't. No. Jesus could sniff out a best friend potential instead of choosing the most popular friends. Jesus made a wise choice and picked loyal friends. They spent the next three years of their lives learning from Jesus. Who did Jesus pick to be his disciples? Let's watch the Bible story to find out. Jesus' ministry had begun. He traveled around preaching about God and telling people to turn away from their sins. People started talking about Jesus and the things he was teaching. They were interested in what Jesus had to say. Large crowds followed Jesus around and listened to him teach. One day, Jesus was walking along the Sea of Galilee. He saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew. Peter and Andrew were fishermen. Jesus called out to them, Follow me, and I will teach you to fish for people. Right away, Peter and Andrew dropped their nets and followed Jesus. Later, he saw two more brothers. Their names were James and John. They were in a boat, fixing nets with their father, Zebedee. Jesus called out to them, and right away they got up, left their father and the boat, and followed Jesus. Jesus went on and saw a man named Matthew, who was also called Levi. Matthew was sitting at the tax office. Matthew was a tax collector. Many people didn't like tax collectors because tax collectors were unfair. Jesus called out to him, follow me. So Matthew got up, left everything behind, and followed Jesus. Matthew had a big feast for Jesus at his house. Many tax collectors and sinners came to eat with Jesus and his disciples. The religious leaders saw this, and they didn't think Jesus should be friends with people who did wrong things. They complained to the disciples, Why does your teacher eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard the religious leaders and said, People who are healthy don't need a doctor, but people who are sick do. I did not come to invite good people. I came to invite sinners to turn back to God. Later, Jesus gathered his followers together and chose 12 of them to be his disciples. Jesus' apostles would work closely with Jesus and would go out to tell others about him. These are the men Jesus chose. Simon, who was called Peter, Simon's brother, Andrew, James and John, who were called the Sons of Thunder, Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew and Thomas, James and the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot. Jesus came to earth to show what God is like and to save people from their sins. This is great news. Jesus told his disciples to tell others about him, and we are Jesus' disciples when we trust in him. Everyone in the world needs to hear the good news about Jesus. Welcome to the Question and Answers show with Quibbles and... Wait a second. What are you doing here? Where's Moss? Well, since we're learning about Jesus and his friends today, and a dog is man's best friend. I thought I'd help with the show. Well, all right, I guess. What did Jesus say he would teach his disciples to do? 
that's easy. Fish for people. Uh, fish for people? Are you throwing a fish net over someone? No, 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 no. When Jesus asked his new disciples to become fishers of men, this meant that Jesus was asking them to help people follow God. Huh. Didn't, uh, didn't Jesus chill with sinners and tax collectors? Yes. Jesus loves sinners. He loves all people. Everyone is a sinner. Jesus came to help people repent of their sins and to be saved. What does it mean to follow Jesus? When a person follows Jesus, they trust him, they obey him, and they tell others about him. You know what? That's how I want to live. Yeah. This week, let's be sure to trust and obey God.